The miracle of childbirth is a beautiful process which billions of people across the world will get to experience. Unfortunately, in some parts of Mexico, childbirth can easily turn into a traumatic experience filled with grief and suffering. In the most heavily impoverished parts of Mexico, wealth, inequality, and the lack of infrastructure plagues the indigenous population. Women are mandated to give birth in government hospitals, but due to obstetric abuse, violence, language barriers, and lack of hospitals, many women are turning to giving birth at home with the help of a midwife as an alternative. Because those who give birth at home lack access to conventional medical devices, they need an affordable and easy to use alternative. The goal of our research was to develop a technique or product to clamp an umbilical cord that is sterile, affordable, easy to use, and accessible for at-home births in developing countries. More specifically, we wanted to cater towards patients giving birth at home in Mexico. Upon research, we found that a solution that could support all of the criteria listed in our client statement would be using corn husk to tie the umbilical cord. Corn is one of the largest crops in the world, making it easily accessible for tons of people, and it would come at no additional cost to the patient as it is a byproduct of the crop itself. The medical use of corn husk has been observed in many parts of developing regions of the world, not just Mexico. For example, in Nigeria, husks are used in malaria treatment. Corn husk exhibits strong antioxidant properties, which was observed in an experiment that used liquid chromatography. Experiments were conducted where the potential toxic properties of corn husk were tested on mice, but no adverse effects were observed. Thus, the external components of corn husk are safe to use. The affordability, accessibility, and medicinal benefits of corn husk make it an unexpected yet innovative option for umbilical cord clamping in developing countries and more specifically Mexico. To prepare the corn husks for this use, the first step is to carefully harvest the husks. Meta-analysis showed that an adequate method for disinfecting the corn husks is to boil them for 10 to 15 minutes. After boiling, a clean dry towel can be used to remove excess water and the husks can be laid out to air dry. Once the husks are completely dry, they can be bent and crumbled without damage occurring. Choose the fullest husks from your bunch to twist into thin strands. These strands can then be tied around the umbilical cord. Tying is a trusted method for closing off the umbilical cord if it is done tightly enough. Many emergency protocols call for the tying of the cord if a classic plastic clamp is not immediately available. When tying, make sure to pull the corn husk as tight as possible. Corn husks have a tensile strength of about 160 MPa, making them more than strong enough to withstand this kind of force. A double knot is sufficient to keep the husk in place. Experts say it can take up to three weeks for an umbilical cord to fall off, and the dried corn husks are able to last much longer than this estimated time frame. The WHO recommends a non-toxic and sterile clamp to keep the baby safe. We needed to develop an umbilical cord clamp with materials that are easily accessible in Mexico. Corn husk is a feasible option as it is widely available, with Mexico being the largest supplier of corn worldwide. The overall benefits of using corn husk make it one of the best options for umbilical cord clamping in developing parts of Mexico where typical plastic clamps are not always available. If you enjoyed watching this video, please consider leaving us a like. We really do appreciate it and thank you so much for watching.